Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. And I have quite a, an interesting story for you about um, the shadow of the personality and the shadow of the group coming up in this particular video. But I thought first it might be uh, interesting to talk about the, the portents uh, and the signs that I experienced right before and right after um, talking this video because it was it was rather stellar. Um, it started. I had the notion, and I was driving down the street looking for a place, a quiet place, to do the video. And so I was going to turn into the parking lot of a um, shopping center. I thought that might do. And I turned into the middle lane, the center lane, with the hope of turning left into the parking lot. Right after I did that, a man traveling in the adjacent lane in the other direction decided to, um, to, ev to go evade and um, pass around a car Mm, that was in that lane by entering the, illegally entering the center lane and then speeding up and um, and going back in having passed that person illegally and in turning into the center lane he turned directly into into where I was and at the time that he realized that I was there he, he needed to um, to either, what he needed to do was to stop his car there in the center lane. But instead, he decided to go back into the center lane, and there was a car there, so he couldn't get through. So fortunately, that car noticed that there was about to be an accident as, he, as this man moved to the adjacent lane to avoid me, and he um, decelerated just in time for that man not to hit me and not to hit him. So, so that was a near miss, and that's a portent. It's a portent that that you're stirring up the um, the Satan world, the black magic world, and you're changing things in the electromagnetics of the shadow, and that you should watch out for your own welfare and so forth at that moment, because when you change the dynamics of duality, even if it's with journaling or a blog. Um, um, there are unexpected things that happen. Uh, that was that was one of them, and then coming up to the next one. So I turned into I turned into the parking lot, right? And I parked my car and I started to speak the video. And what happened then was I heard in my mind someone saying, um, "Don't do that! Don't do that! Don't!" Don't do that. And when, when I hear that, uh, I assess what it is that's causing that um, admonition. I've heard it before. Typically it happens when the power of the dark is broached, when the power of dark fe the dark feels threatened in this duality. And in this case, I felt that to be the case too. So the next thing I felt was in my heart chakra, I felt um, like a knifing, like a pulling out and knifing outward of the energy that something else was pu pulling out the front chakra of my heart, which in the astral realm could be interpreted as negative entities, astral. So... So then I felt this pulling out of that energy, pulling out this way of that energy, and then I felt the, the battery of the car drain. The car was stopped, right? So I finished the video, and then I tried to turn on the car, and the battery would not work. The battery that had been working fine before would no longer work. Um, this draining of batteries is something that happens when there are change-ups in the illusion whether in your own personal hologram or in the whole Earth hologram or the whole galactic hologram, wherever, there are, there are, there are issues with battery straining. Um, could be the battery of your watch. Could be your cell phone stops working for a while. 
could be your your television, or I, I assume I don't really watch TV, or your um, computer. I've com- had computers go off for a while too. I had one day during an X flare when three um, mobile phone, three phones stopped working. One, mo- two mobile, and one landline, and the computer all at once. But the car worked, and and in this occasion, the car stopped working. But the um, camcorder worked. What that means is ch- there's a big change up happening. It's like a software change. It's like um, an upgrade on a computer. When everything goes into downtime like that, you just can't get anything done. And, um, and in this case, the drain of the battery. You know, I don't know the answer to this yet, but other people, many other people have noticed that this happens. So then I couldn't get the car going, so I got a jump, <clears throat> and I went to uh, an auto parts place, right? And there I had great difficulty, uh, like there was a mind mud thing going on in the air, both with the people there and with my intention to to resolve this issue, and there was anger in the air also on the part of other people. And so, and so these were three separate signs with regard to this video that something important was going on with regard to it. And then the next day, the geostorm came in. A big geostorm came in. And it's still happening right now, although it has subsided greatly. And so, a lot's going on, and, and here's the video. I have a topic to just discuss very briefly right now. Um, uh, it's possible it will be developed more at a future date. Uh, and this has to do with some of the opposing energies, the shadow energies that are opposing uh, right now on Earth and and um, are about to to disengage. Uh, now, now first, I'd like to talk about shadow energies. These uh, you may have heard of the shadow of the personality, and this is a um, this is the uh, subconscious and unconscious energies of one human being's energy field, right? The shadow of the personality. Those, that is to say, those uh, emotional energies that are not socially acceptable, that are, um, that are negative, emotions that are negative, and um, thoughts that are, that are negative and antisocial and so forth, that are repressed, typically, in most people, although not in all. So we have the shadow of the personality. And then also we have the glomming that's going on with groups right now. The glomming has to do with emotions as well. And so we have gloms of emotions uh, that are negative, certain energy uh, threads that are negative. And these I call the shadow of the group. Now, uh, when we have a group that has a natural antipathy toward or hatred for another group, we have um, a kind of a, uh, a tangle, a kind of a, a tango, um, if the other group hates that group in the same way. A lot of times this has to do with latitude. It has to do with the movement of electrical energy on Earth, I, I think. And so, Somehow or other, these groups will have, be on or the same latitude or on similar latitudes, and, and they will have a natural antipathy towards each other on the subconscious and unconscious level, on the repressed level, and not so much on a level that's talked about on the social plane, you see, or sometimes so. As the uh, awakening proceeds, these energies of the shadow of the groups are coming to the surface because groups are not totally ungrouping. If, they were, if people were to ungroup from groups, then there wouldn't be a glom of the shadows, a group glom. But as it is, many people are sticking with the familiar notion of being in a group, and so there are these, these shadows of the group that are interacting with the shadows of other groups. Uh, one such that I spoke of uh, recently 
uh, had to do with the shadow of of Islam, which has been much promoted in the news media, uh, as opposed to the shadow of Judaism, which has been um, it has not been brought so much to the light until I did this blog recently uh, to do with uh, religious fanaticism. And um, so, so along those lines, I have an, another religious, kind of religious issue to discuss with you. Uh, I feel, I have yet to check the latitudes, but I feel that there's a galam uh, between the Vatican in Italy and the Washington DC and uh, th this is the glom that's disappearing but but it needs to be brought to the light and like looked at with the conscious awareness in order for that to happen so um, you may have heard for a long time about the black mass this is a black magic um, ritual that's used to to discredit the Catholic Church the like the the mass that, that takes place uh, in the Catholic Church and it's a like a black magic kind of ritual that um, was actually I think first devised by Catholics who had uh, some difficulty with um, the rulership the Vatican and so it was devised by Catholics as a mean of means of discrediting uh, the the authority there and the feeling that was there, the feeling of uh, hatred or of desiring to undo other people, you know, the desire to undercut other people, um, the desire to do them harm, that feeling made the Black Mass and the people who participated in it, like the Knights Templar, it made them, um, they became the shadow of, of that group of Catholicism. Now, right now in the United States, uh, as the newosphere is clearing, there is a great upwelling of, of black magic to do with the disappearance of the astral beings negative that I've discussed in many blogs in past years. Um, what's left is the newospheric detritus from their tenancy on Earth during the long age of darkness that ended in 2012. Um, and so there are vast skeins of dark energy uh, here in the United States to do with um, individuality, uh, refusals to submit to authority. And uh, this, in a way, is fundamental to the American way of life, this notion of freedom and so forth. Uh, the many freedoms that we have as as Americans, but there is a uh, there's a dark side to this. I think this has to do with the notion uh, that we Americans have the right way of doing things, and that it's far superior to that of other countries, and so therefore we have the right to um, to offer a kind of patriarchal like uh, influence on the world that will provide other countries with a better way of life but that doesn't necessarily take into consideration their free will as, as, as peoples to organize and develop their own country notions. Um, so there, there has been a kind of provincial lack of understanding of the free will of other, other peoples to create their own countries and their own notion of how it should be. Of course, in addition to an idealistic notion about, um, about the actions of a country, there is also uh, the shadow notion and that notion has to do with, um, in this case, has to do with commercial interest, corporate interest, and so forth. And so from time to time there are pinpoint strikes and, and other uh, like um, small force invasions and 
present military presences in other countries that are intended to promote our our image in the world and also our commercial interests. This is this is not unusual. Uh, there are many nations that do this, but it's important for me to mention it in connection with this 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 glom effect. Uh, because in a way, uh, through our intelligence community, for instance, we are um, extending ourselves through the world in our own interests, but also what is considered to be the interests of, of humankind because of our, our, like our notion that our way is best, right? Which it is best for us. Um, so, so there is a notion of controlling others. And it and during the process of um, um, of the awakening, this notion has to some extent inverted, and and turned into a notion of controlling um, American citizens instead. Jade Helm, for instance, is is an example of of that kind of momentary inversion. I think to do with. Um, feelings of anxiety over the great changes that are taking place in the newosphere during the clearing. Um, so along with this has come up a notion that I call uh, the Black Magic Secret Service. And this is, a, I think, a play on the word Black Ops. Um, and it's sometimes expressed on the astral stories in other terms, such as black magic CIA, black magic homeland security, black magic FBI, black magic uh, Interpol, and so forth. Um, and what this is amounting to is an energy very opposed to the Vatican energy. It's, um, it's an energy that uh, seems to stand for all the things that the Vatican doesn't stand for, such as, for instance, ab abortion, uh, the right to to be homosexual, um, the right to have an atheistic or pagan point of view, the right to practice black magic, uh, and so in in um, dogmatic stance. It stands with more like with the Knights Templar in in terms of serving uh, Baal or some other form of Satan, and and just opposing the energy of Catholicism. So we have these two energy uh, strands which are clearing right now: uh, the Black Mass and the Black Magic. Secret Service and the Black CIA or Secret Service. Neither of these is truth in the current reality. So, so all I'm trying to do right now, I'm not trying to take any kind of temporal action, any time kind of physical action. I'm just pointing out the newospheric existence of these two strands and hoping that the people involved, such as, for example, the Catholic community, and and on the other side, the Secret Service community, will just take a look at their own like emotional um, um, emotional structure, and find the the portions of emotion that are negative, and and work with eliminating that so that their organizations can successfully accomplish the good aims that they have in mind for the world. You know what I mean? Um, so, so that's my thought on this, and I hope I haven't upset anyone. I hope that everyone will, will go well with this clearing and be at heart's ease with it and, and find true happiness and joy with it. And so you all take care with your, with your emotional clearing and your, and, and your um, expected uh, outcome of emotional honesty and continuity with, uh, with the eternal now. <laughs>